Today we're checking out the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. Did I just blow my dough? Or will this do exactly what I want? Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel folks. My name's Shane. If you're into video and audio reviews and tech tutorial guides, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Today we're checking out the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod and I purchased this full price here in Melbourne, Australia. I saw it at a shop, which is rare. Usually you just buy these online, but Ted's cameras had one in store. It must've been an order that someone didn't want or something like that. And that's probably, we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later. But I've owned a couple of GoPros now for a while and I purchased these for a trip that never ended up happening to go overseas. I wanted one to mount onto the windshield of a car and one that I could vlog with. Now I've been using both of these a lot. And one of the biggest problems I have with the GoPro Hero 8 is the fact that there's no built-in microphone jack, which is why I basically purchased this. You'll buy this for one of a combination of two reasons on the most part. Now we all know the shotgun microphones built into this are really not very good. We'll compare that in a little bit as well. But I wanted it for the cold shoe mount and I wanted it for the microphone input, and that is it. So for what you're paying, it's a ripoff, <laughs> but it solves a problem because I love these little cameras. They're nice and small. You know, you can get away with them in areas where you might not want to take a really large camera with you. And just for what I wanted for, you know, for car travels and also for vlogging, all that kind of stuff, these are just a really great solution for that. The stabilization's awesome. And I just really missed having good quality audio, much like what I'm using right now. So the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod allows you to connect a shotgun microphone, a lav mic, a wireless pack, all that kind of stuff directly to the GoPro. So that's all I wanted it for. So for 120 Australian dollars, or 129 I think it was actually, it's basically a, an overpriced solution to get what I want out of it, but I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. So we're gonna unbox this, I'll show you what's in the box, and then we'll set it up and then we'll test it and I'll leave some time codes below. Here we go. In the box we get a couple of bits of paper that odds are no one will ever read, and we get the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. Now there's not a lot in this box, I gotta tell you, it feels uh, very, yeah, it feels very underwhelming, I gotta tell you, just opening this up. So let's have a look. Including the box, we get a mounting buckle, as well as the screw that allows it to thread onto any of the GoPro accessories, and we get the media mod. So that's all you get in the box. It doesn't feel like a whole lot of value for what you pay, but I gotta tell you, I'm not that unimpressed with the build quality, it actually feels pretty good. Does it feel as good as the plastic on the GoPro Hero 8? No, but it doesn't have to be. This isn't waterproof, which is one of the big trade-offs. So if you buy one of these and put it on the camera, the camera is then not waterproof. So don't get it anywhere near water. It's got lots of open ports and so forth on the side. And you also have to take off the battery, which is the seal, the actual cover on the GoPro, and then sort of slide this on. And we'll do that right now. So the first thing I wanna do is take it off the tripod that it's already on. Next, I'm gonna take off the battery door, which just pops off like that. And then we open this by pulling down on here. And there we go. Next, we have to slide this in. So you just wanna line up the USB ports and make sure that they slot in. Oh, that's it. Okay, so it felt like it should have clicked in a little bit further, but it just slides in and that's it. So don't push it too hard and you should be good to go. Now, I'm gonna put this back on my little tripod. Getting into these now is a little bit harder, but nothing too bad. Getting into the little brackets there. Now you have to put the little tripod in, in a certain way where you have enough room on this side. It's sort of etched out here, so it will allow you to fit this. If you do it the other way, it's not gonna fit properly. So yeah, it's pretty obvious once you get one of these in your hands, which way they go. All right, getting this on is a little bit more awkward than I thought, but no big deal. All right. So there's the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod on one of my GoPros. And you know what? It looks pretty cool. <laughs> I know that's like the least of the concerns, but it makes it look pretty tough. I dig it. So now with the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod on, this menu is a little bit on the confusing side. I wish they had have renamed some of these, but I'll show you the difference. So as I plugged in my Roadlink wireless pack, you notice that the, it comes up with standard mic. Now we get standard mic, standard mic plus, powered mic, powered mic plus, and line in. So standard mic says, increase standard non-powered mic sensitivity by 20 dB. So if you're using a, a non-powered microphone, that would be a really great choice as it boosts the gain by 20 dB. 
The standard mic plus says use with standard non-powered mic. So that will be the same setting as before, but without the 20 dB boost. We then get a powered mic setting, which also increases it by 20 dB. So if you're using a shotgun mic, you need a bit more gain. For whatever reason, you could use powered mic, or you could use powered mic plus, which is the same thing without the actual boost. So that's probably what we're gonna to test today. And then we get a line in. So if you're going out of a mixer or something like that, or some other audio source like a zoom recorder, you could then use that setting as a line in and it will reduce the input gain so it doesn't clip or do anything weird. Now let's say for argument's sake, you don't wanna use an external microphone for whatever reason, even though that will get you by far the best results and you wanna just use the built-in microphones to the media mod, you can do that too, but you gotta to get to it at a different way. So if you go to the profile that you wanna record in, and then click the settings tab. And as you scroll down, you'll now see a new option here called mics. And you notice that it's got the front microphone active. If you click this, you can change it from front to back. Say I'm behind the microphone, like I am right now, I'm talking sort of into the back of the screen. You would use the back option and stereo is both microphones, but I think most people probably use it on the front. But in a pinch, you can change it around to whatever you like. So if you're behind the camera more than you are in front of it, definitely set it to the back. For the stuff I'm doing today, I'm gonna to leave it set to the front. Let's do a quick indoor audio comparison. This should be enough to show you the difference between a standard GoPro Hero 8 front-facing microphone. So this is without the media mod right now and with the media mod. This is how the front-facing shotgun microphone sounds just in control conditions. And I'm only gonna show you the front-facing one because that's enough to get an idea whether or not it's actually worth it just for the shotgun mic if you're thinking about upgrading, or whether or not the actual GoPro microphone sounds better. Now, in all the tests that I've watched and listened to on YouTube, I actually prefer the sound of the GoPro internal microphone over the external shotgun microphone that it comes with. But right now, what we're gonna do is add another microphone to the equation which should increase things drastically. So, let's do it. Over to test number two, we're testing the GoPro Hero 8 on its own, this is the built-in microphone up against the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod with my Rode Lavalier microphone. So this is a wireless microphone. I can move as far back or forward as I like. It works extremely well. This is pretty much the ideal setup for something like this. It saves you having to just tether an actual microphone to the camera. If you're vlogging, you don't have that cable, a wireless setup of any description would be a better option than just using a tethered microphone, especially if you wanna basically turn the camera around and show people you know, something on the other side, you're never gonna get the, the cables tangled. So in my opinion, this would be hopefully a really great choice. Now I'm yet to hear this back. I'll comment on that in just a moment, but we're also gonna just go back right now to the GoPro Hero 8 built-in microphone, which I still think sounds great, but there's gonna be a huge difference between the audio, between this uh, wireless microphone setup and just the standard GoPro Hero 8 mic. Now for this last test, what I wanted to do is compare the built-in GoPro Hero 8 microphone up against the Tackstar shotgun microphone. Now these are an inexpensive shotgun microphone that I personally think sound great. I got a tip on this many, oh, a couple of years ago now from Max Urev. He's got a great YouTube channel. And these mics just tend to sound really, really nice. So hopefully there's a difference using a shotgun mic. But I already know because this is so big, it's not really designed for GoPro, you're probably seeing the end of the microphone in frame. And I'm in linear mode. So if you're using one of the wider uh, fields of view, you're gonna see more of that microphone. So make sure you buy a small shotgun mic if you plan on using the GoPro with a shotgun mic. Otherwise, you're just gonna see it in frame. And if I move it around, odds are you're probably seeing it a little bit more as the stabilization actually kicks in. So that's how the shotgun microphone sounds through the media mod. And this is how the built-in microphone sounds on the GoPro. Now in a pinch, the GoPro audio I think will be fine, but you are buying one of these media mods for that basically that connection in. At least that's my interpretation of it. I, I, that's all I really wanted it for, as well as the cold shoe mounts, obviously. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. So firstly, what do I think of the audio quality? Was it an upgrade over the standard GoPro microphone? Yes and no. So the front facing shotgun microphone or even the back facing one wouldn't be better than just using the built in microphones on the GoPro. So if you're buying the actual media mod for its shotgun microphones, don't do it. Just get a windsock for the GoPro and save yourself the money. It will do that no problems at all. I've actually got one of those windsocks and they sound fantastic just getting rid of that wind noise. I've tested them on really windy days and they work great. So don't buy it just for the built in shotgun mics. It's probably not worth it. If you're buying it, 
for the 3.5 millimeter jack like I was for using with either some sort of vlogging microphone or a wireless setup. I feel like it does that extremely well and it works great. So I'm really happy with my purchase for that. Now there's a, a couple of trade-offs. One, the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod isn't waterproof anymore. So don't really get it wet or do anything like that. Don't use it when it's raining. Don't use it basically anytime there's any rain or, or water around. It's just not waterproof. So if you wanted it for the outdoor sort of snow adventures, probably not a great idea. But if you're gonna be using it indoors or outdoors, just in the car or something like that, and you want better audio, hook up a wireless pack. It will give you more freedom. It won't get in shot either with something like this, but if you've got a large vlogging microphone like the, um, what's it called, the Taxstar. I always think it's the Saramonic, that's another one. So if you've got a Taxstar microphone or something large like a VideoMic Pro, it's probably gonna be in shot. So you'll need to downsize your shotgun microphone, which is another expense. Unless you've already got one of the little video mic goes, you're gonna to have to basically get something smaller so it's not seen in shot. But I love the sound quality, the preamp in this GoPro Hero 8 media mod or wherever it's located, actually in the camera itself, works well with external microphones. To my ear, it sounded fine. So I'm wrapped with what I got. It's just the trade-off of efficiency now, changing the battery is a bit more of a pain. You've got to basically unscrew the entire thing and get the battery in there and out. So yeah, there's that trade-off. But for what I wanted it for, and if you're a vlogger, you want to do some outdoor stuff, I can highly recommend just getting a wireless pack, clipping it on top of that. Lastly, if you've got a light, like a video light already for your mirrorless camera or something like that, or you're thinking about buying one, it has two cold shoe mounts, so you can attach a light to that. And if you're an adventure seeker or you want to go you know, exploring at night and you want a light on here, you can do that as well. So it gives you some more flexibility in that case, rather than just hoping for the best in low light with these GoPros, because they're pretty terrible. I noticed immediately how much more noise there was when I switched to the video on the GoPro than my GH5. So yeah, if you're gonna be using these in, in low light conditions, it's great having that cold tube mount for an LED light. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. If this video has been helpful and you wanna check out these items, I'll leave some affiliate links in the description below. Greatly appreciate it. They help support the channel at no extra cost to you. So thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.